Good day. Welcome to the Champion Circle. You and I, we've been through it before. We've had some great leaders working who we worked for. We've also had some bad leaders that we worked for. And the truth is, those bad leaders can be toxic. Our guest today is going to talk about toxic or toxicity in leadership and how to deal with it. Our speaker is none other than Dr. Renato Noy Josef with more than 30 years of experience in the field of HR and medicine. Let's give a warm welcome to Doc Noy Josef. <laughs> Doc Noy. Thank you for that kind introduction, Mr. Dino. Good day, leaders of the world, my friends. Leadership, we all know, is vital in its role in organizations in order to achieve success and attain the goals. While it is a given that organizations ensure that its leaders has the appropriate skill set, it may also be quite a disaster when selecting a leader is not done properly on, or when the leader has some personality flaws. In this 15-minute webinar brief, we'll be dealing with toxic leadership the surrounding issues and their corresponding solutions with focus on some examples. I have prepared a three-part webinar series for a 15-minute period of time, which the first one deals with the definition of toxic leadership and its manifestations. The second part would be the discussion proper on the impact of toxic leadership and their solutions. And the third would be on the way moving forward. First off, what is toxic leadership, my friends? A popular organizational psychologist defines toxic leadership as the process in which leaders, by dint of their destructive behaviors and or dysfunctional personal characteristics, inflict serious and enduring harm on their followers, their organizations, and their non-followers alike. Simply put, toxic leaders are known to be self-centered and self-righteous. Another known leadership coach cited the manifestations of toxic leaders as follows. Frequent flying, arrogance, and adapting on organizational practices in a discriminatory manner. Their lack of confidence and job incompetencies are manifested as their excessive force on themselves, focus on themselves. Their camouflaging acts of their inadequacies are projected to other people intensified by their wanting to always remain on track. So you see the leader and the victim issue in this uh, discussion. Based on my 35 years of working as an HR in the field of occupational health and public health across various organizations here and abroad, the following are what I consider the most pervasive toxic leaders' qualities. Lying in various forms, that's one, whether consciously done or subconsciously, Two, inconsistencies in the execution of organizational rules. Number three, indulging in much power politics with blaming as a common ego defense. Fourth, lack of self-control, allowing emotions to rule. And last would be the constant use of foul language in every situation. So obviously, as we examine clearly on each of these behavioral manifestations, Toxic leaders have unresolved conflicts with an apparent fight of the ego over the id and the superego. Having listened to part one of our presentation, the part two is now on the discussion proper of the impact of toxic leadership and their corresponding solutions. I will be dividing the discussion into three subcomponents, one, physical health, two, psychological, emotional health, and three, the spiritual health aspect. So the first is on the physical health. I will be walking you through on the generic mechanisms of the various physical health effects of which I'm focusing on the aging process. By the way, when we talk of the aging process, it's not just referring to the aging of the skin manifested by wrinkling, but rather, it is the aging process that is basically due to the oxidative stress of the body's cells and tissues. You see, the stress factor that comes from the toxic individual or leader 
leads to the production of free radicals in the victim's bodily system. What are free radicals? As an example, I could cite O2 in our chemistry 101. O2 is oxygen. O2, why O2? Because oxygen should exist in its diatom um, structure. It's, it's never an O alone, but rather it's an O2. When, with stress coming from a toxic leader, this O2 that is inhaled from air that comes to our lungs and distributed in the cells of the body becomes O negative, a free radical which induces oxidative stress to the cells of the human body. Let me elaborate with you with the, using the analogy of the browning of an apple and a banana. banana. When we slice an apple or banana and put this on top of our table and exposed to the sunlight for a couple of minutes, what we observe is the browning process that is undergone by these two fruits, right? So this is what we call simply an oxidative stress that in similar token also happens in our body when we are subjected to stress. And this oxidative stress is the one initiating the aging process. The aging process also takes place in all other systems of the body, as I've mentioned, which starts the development of diseases. What is worse is for people who have genetic factors like heredity factors, then the illnesses become more pronounced. Thus, as we age, our systems age as well, and eventually we acquire various illnesses, common of which are diabetes, diseases of the cardiovascular and immunologic systems, neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, and, mind you, all forms of cancers. So it all starts with the oxidative process. What do we have a solution? Simply, because we're talking of oxidation, therefore, we have to have healthy diet with antioxidants. Antioxidants coupled with regular physical fitness and other healthy habits, including stress management approaches, would help a lot. Let me focus the discussion on the antioxidant as a definite measure in preventing oxidative stress to the body. One of the many functions of an antioxidant is to coat the outside of each of our billions of human cells. This, this allows the radicals, which I mentioned earlier, the O negative, to act on the elements inside the cells. Therefore, no oxidative stress happens, no aging process occur inside the body. Inside the body. Oh, physical of uh, the human health is the psychological, emotional health. What happens to this psychological and emotional makeup of a recipient of toxic leadership, do you think? Do you know that within seconds of perceiving a stressor, the brain releases neurotransmitters, common of which on our knowledge is serotonin and adrenaline, which release, this triggers the release of stress hormones, cortisol. This cortisol, and one of the many, act on the specific areas responsible for memory, cognition, and emotions. Thus, these areas are affected. So what do you think the result? We expected that the person subject to toxic leadership would be manifesting forgetfulness, difficulty with concentration, rigid thinking, poor judgment, constant worrying. And by the way, these are all documented in a well-designed scientific study. On top of that, anxiety depression becomes very common. What is worse is prior to this, the anxiety and depression episodes, the person would experience sleep issues, relationship issues, substance use, and addiction of all sorts, such as the extreme craze in the use of social media. Furthermore, chronic pain becomes common as well, mainly psychosomatic conditions. What do we have solutions to address the problem? For the individual stress management approaches specific, specific to the victim and other healthy lifestyle practices are strongly recommended. Studies have shown that managing stress to various techniques regulate the individual stress to the level of optimal performance in which the person becomes highly productive. 
So you see the situation despite the presence of a toxic leader, the person managed to be to be productive in despite of the situation. So training on stress management points to making the use of positive stress responses over the negative ones. For the organization as a whole, training, implementation of appropriate policies on organizational issues concerning toxic leadership and coaching are primordial. Let me focus the discussion on coaching. We have been experiencing that coaching instills soft skills such as listening, empathy, and compassion that diffuse toxic tendencies. As an adult learning methodology, coaching is known to create an opportunity to practice and model these behaviors until they become muscle memories. In other words, they become automatic through constant practice and becomes a normal way of life when we are in the organization. Eventually, these new skills and mindsets become more fully embedded in the leadership style of the more of the once toxic individual. In any case, early diagnosis is vital. The last, but I deem very much important, is on spiritual health. Uh, my friends, let me be, share with you why the, I deem it's very important because with the foregoing the physical, emotional, psychological health, I would say that based on my experience, I did manage myself well on those things. However, the past two years since I survived the COVID critical ordeal, I integrated now this time my life with spiritual health. With the situation in the world now, great feeling and the high sense of hopelessness and helplessness, the affected individual either would struggle or simply give up with the resultant breakdown of all components or the let go, let God supervise. Solutions for spiritual health breakdown or supposed to have some deficiencies is to practice, to begin to practice one's faith through prayers, studying and meditating on the word, close spiritual guidance and help. I had selected uh, three verses in the Bible for the purpose of discussion, among many that are applicable in resolving issues on toxic leadership. These are, first, John chapter 15, verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Furthermore, Matthew chapter 5, verse 11 to 12 states of, Blessed are you when people insult you persecute you and falsely say all things of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. Lastly, Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 says, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Noticeably, all the elements that we have discussed in the foregoing period of time is encompassed in the spirituality aspect. Now that brings us to the last part of this webinar, part three, measures moving forward. To alleviate the issues on toxic leadership, let us bear in mind this statement. Toxic leaders in their subconscious mind love problems rather than solutions. The behavior of maintaining issues to be unresolved is a way for them to cover for their inadequacy inadequacies, sad to say. So moving forward, the Southeast Asian Speakers and Trainers Bureau Incorporated, which I think them, I will thank them by the way a lot, will come up with longer versions of the toxic leadership sessions on details of the foregoing. On my end, I am proposing special modular sessions for focus groups like the HR, the medical team, and the health and safety teams. To be able or to watch, to listen, or listen to the full course on the impact of toxic leadership on employee health and wellness, click on the registration link on the description below the video. My friends, let us all learn toxic leadership, address the issue, and make our respective organizations and communities great places to be in. That ends my presentation. 
To God be the glory. Back to you, Mr. Dino. Thank you so much, Doc Noy. And to our viewers, uh, do um, click on the uh, link below to register for the full-blown um, explanation and examples to how to apply the solutions to dealing with toxicity among leaders. So thank you again, Doc Noy, and we look forward to your full-blown um, webinar. We believe that learning is a lifelong process and it is our advocacy to help individuals and organizations succeed and thrive despite the challenges they face. We invite you and your team to take advantage of the series of free learning sessions that we are offering to celebrate our company's 33rd anniversary. Your organization can have the longer version of the impact of toxic leadership in employee health and well-being. Our speaker can customize it according to your needs and convenience, that is, half-day or full-day version. Act now to ensure that your chosen date and time will be given top priority. Send your request for the online or face-to-face -face longer version of this program to our email at info at speakerstrainers.com or contact us at 0933-330-6649 or 0917-889-7897.